Hey guys, what's up? My name's Todd, and today we're playing some Modern Warfare 3 on Bootleg, and this is a free-for-all game um, using the MP7 and uh, traditional specialist uh, perk setup that I've been geeking out with lately. Um, I think this was like the last game um, that I played at level 80. I'm pretty sure it was at least. Uh, to where, you know, I was already filled up, and I think I realized it after Total Choke on that. Um, <laughs> I think I realized afterward, um, like, oh, I can prestige now. So, I kind of fiddled with the classes and stuff, um, and got them back to where I was, uh, using them when I leveled. And then, um, I'll have a video tomorrow, uh, basically covering, you know, what my class setups have been, um, what kind of, uh, guns I like using. I don't know how I survived during that, but, uh, you know, it's really funny. A lot of people complain about, you know, in this, it's too fast compared to how Black Ops pacing was, and I'm, like, the exact opposite. I, I like, I like the pacing of this game right where it is. I like, you know, Twitch shooters, they're fun, and, um, maybe that's a, a background in playing a lot of Quake 2 and Quake 3 where that's exactly what they reward, um, but, like, you know, one of the arguments was if they see you first, they always kill you, and I mean, that's a, they have a really good chance of doing that, but, um, I mean, that double kill, or not quite a double kill, but the two in a row that I had right there kind of disproves that. I mean, you can take some damage, it just, um, I don't know, it just depends on the setting and your accuracy, for sure, and their accuracy, but, um, I don't know. I mean, what game doesn't reward the guy that sees them first? I mean, even in Halo, where you have a lot of health and everything. I mean, I guess in Halo, if you're just a far superior player, um, you know, you can just headshot them away and 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 use your accuracy to your advantage. And I don't know. I guess there's some other things, and or you could just run away <laughs> and get your shields back and try again. Um, personally, I'm just. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just not really into that style of first-person shooter. I like, you know, dying and coming back and respawning and, you know, you have to fight again and all that. Um, and not everybody likes that, so I guess it's kind of a, a preference thing, but I dig it. Um, I hate that room. That's the one thing I don't like about bootleg. People chill in that room like crazy, like it's their job, and... It's just, uh, it's an unfortunate byproduct of having, like, a, th a through, uh, like a, I don't know what you would call that, like a fairway, <laughs> basically, through the center of the map, um, where people just congregate and like to chill. I like fighting people there, you know, when we both bump into each other, because we're passing through, but, um, I really hate the dudes that chill in the corner, um, I mean, I know it's camping and it's always going to be that way, but, like, that room specifically. I don't know. Maybe I should just stop going there and learn from my mistakes. Um, this is also one of the maps where I use um, I use my own map flow where I kind of ignore a third of the map completely and just um, continue to... Yeah, I was trying to find out where the hell that guy got killed from. There he is. Um, yeah, this is one of the maps where I kind of ignore uh, one section of it because the lines of sight are way too long for an SMG, and uh, I think that that kind of pays tribute to, like, just understanding the limitations of the weapon that you're using, and a lot of people end up, um, you know, picking up a gun that they see somebody else use, and they start playing with it, and they have horrible results, and they just think it's a shit gun, and they don't understand, um, you know, why they're not getting kills, why they're getting killed all the time in gunfights, and this and that, and, yeah, I don't know where that guy was, we were both trying to get out, and he was the smart player, and I was like, oh yeah, you're supposed to kill people in this game. I was like, oh, just passing through, buddy, need to go to the bank. Um, but like, you know, I think a lot of that is misunderstanding the limitations of the gun and like kind of how they're supposed to be used each one and people you know bring this gun for instance to long range encounters look at the spawn by the way I don't know if you noticed but when I spawned I saw my corpse falling on the ground like it was still animate like the animation of it falling was still there that's kinda I don't know 
free for all spawns. We've all heard people complain about it. Um, I don't know. I haven't honestly gotten that frustrated with them. Um, because really it's helped. It's been to my credit, like almost every time. Like, I'll kill a guy around the corner and then it's the same guy, and I'm just like, God, that's gotta be frustrating. Um, but, I don't know. <clears throat> I think people just need to experiment with the guns and use them how they're supposed to be used. And if they still don't like it at that point, I mean, it's totally understanding. But, like, for instance, I think the biggest one for me was the FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2 and, um, and even the Type 95 in this. I really disliked them at first. And it's because of, like, I mean, if you look on the screen, I'm holding down the left stick, like, pretty much 90% of the game. And, uh, you can't really do that with a burst rifle. I mean, unless you're, like, a computer program and you can zero in on people instantly and, you know, set off a burst on them, maybe then you can do that. But, like, even still, the the gun just isn't designed for that kind of, like, close engagements and things like that. So it's like, you know, I really, I kept putting myself in the wrong spot all the time. I'm like, God, this gun kind of sucks. I, I don't like it as much as, you know, using whatever, X gun. And, um, so then I kind of just, I was like, well, I'm going to, you know, I'll make the class for, you know, the Type 95 class. And I'll just use that gun on the maps that I hate using my SMG on. Like, um, I, I forget how to say it. And I'll, every time I see the map, I just think of Baraka from uh, from modern, or, uh, modern combat, Mortal Kombat. Um, oh, God. I'm going to copyright that just in case they get all into that. Little, uh, little Modern Combat 3, spelled with a K. Anyway, um, <laughs> there'll be nine of those games next year. But, like, you know, it's like, I just, I started using those guns in their more appropriate maps. I, I and mean, I still don't know the map. I know I just completely ignored that fact. But it's called, like, Balkara, or something like that. Um, it's the one with the, like, machine gun in the center where the helicopter has crashed. Um... But it just has a lot of long ranges and uh, a lot of like um, like second story buildings that you can uh, shoot down on people that are uh, capping objectives and stuff. I am not getting a knife throw to save my life, but uh, I really wanted one for the kill cam <laughs> just because I'm greedy like that. But yeah, I don't know. I just I think once you kind of put your guns in the more appropriate um, engagements, you'll you'll definitely like them a lot more. Um, and if not, then just stick with the engagements that you're the most comfortable with. Stick with the guns that you're the most comfortable with, because otherwise you're just going to have a horrible experience. Um, and I, I kind of go through some of that when I see another commentator use a gun, and I'm like, damn, that gun looks sweet. Or like that commentary was inspiring. Then I'll try to use that gun and just blow ass with it and never use it again and hate it. And blame it on the gun, but whatever. <laughs> Um, I got a couple videos uh, for you guys to check out if you get a chance or uh, maybe you missed them. I know YouTube's Subbox program is not 100%, uh, you know, it doesn't always post. So I've started to do this because I felt like this would be a good way for people who, you know, actually want to watch everything I post. Um, or maybe they skipped it and they didn't, didn't know what it was, you know, they just didn't want to watch it at the time. So I figured this would be nice for people to kind of catch up, but uh, the top game is, actually I'm using the Type 95 for a little bit in it, um, it's a game of domination with a bunch of friends of mine actually, and um, it was a super duper close game, I had a lot of fun with it, um, and it's kind of, I don't know, I don't really like always posting games where I just completely 100% dominate, no pun intended, um, but like, I figured uh, this was a nice contrast, and it's definitely more in tune with like a normal experience for me when I play the game you know it's like I don't just go in and roll people um, tomorrow I'm gonna post that class setup and you're gonna see how terrible my win-loss record is it's very bad because I play by myself a lot um, the video below that is a TDM uh, game on mission which is like definitely one of my favorite maps um, and I kinda talk a little bit about that um, you know why it's why I like it and just some of the things about it that uh, kinda uh, play to my strengths, my personal strengths, um, and I'm just kind of raving about <laughs> my new favorite gun in it, so, um, 
yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching, and take it easy, guys.